long time no see. Okay, so I am going to be cutting today. I am, um, I, I got my the strawberry garden block of the month, month seven. Um, I got that in the other day and I am going to be cutting for that. So we are on month seven. We are making the criss the crisscross blocks. I think it's four, four of them. And then the little, what is it called? The cross and crown blocks, just one of each. And y'all are probably going to hear some thunder. We're getting some storms. So I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. My daughter may come in here. She's scared. I thought we were going to have to leave because I have nothing to put my truck under. And there was some like a major hail core down south of us. But thankfully it weakened out before I got here. I also got in the other day, or I want to say about two weeks ago, number four for the quilt seats. I got this for like a dollar. I want to say it was a dollar ninety four, and um, I pay more for shipping because it's the only thing I got. Because I'm like, I really don't need to spend that much money, so I pay more for shipping than this cost. But I wanted to show y'all. Um, I'm hoping to get number five soon, and then go up. But yeah, so I've got one, two, three, and four, and uh, I need five more. So. I was excited about that. Let me move this over here. And I keep hitting my knee on the side of that table. It never fails. I cleaned up my area some before I came recording. And uh, let me make sure I have, yeah, I want to make sure I have enough. But I kind of cleaned my area up some because it was too cluttered. I was like, I'm about to just pull my hair out. So um, way too much going on. Okay, I am going to get my stripology out because I do have to have 42 background squares for this one. Two, four, six, eight. So eight total. Okay, this this shouldn't take too long. I may do the uh, crisscross crisscross block cutting first, and then the cross and crown block cutting next. So I did start all my fabrics. I just got done doing all that. And this white piece is selvage to selvage. Like, I got a nice big piece. Okay, let me move this out of the way just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pan y'all down so you don't have to look at me the entire time. So, I did press everything. Y'all, I have been busy getting care of Christmas. I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but I got my Christmas decorations up. This is, I have never put my decorations up this early before ever okay, let me see how many pieces I have to cut let's see two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty so I'm going to cut three. So two, four. I'm actually going to move these out of the way. Make sure this is okay. I always like to make sure it's straight. Okay. This see if I have the longer one. I'm gonna get the longer one, y'all. It'll be after Christmas, after the holidays and stuff. I'm but I am gonna invest in me the larger one. I may have to move some of my stuff around over here, but that's okay. So for stuff like this, I could get it knocked out so much quicker. But it is what it is. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. Okay, so 36, 38, 40. I think I'm going to only cut these two because I should have just enough of these. Maybe, if I'm counting right. Actually, let me put a little bit more. Just so I can make sure I have a nice clean edge. So 36, 38, 4, 40, 42, 43, 44, 5, 6, 7, 48, yeah. Now I'm actually going to throw two more in there just in case. I don't have to, but I'm going to. These are a little bit larger. Okay. So this is my A. So I got all 48. So if y'all have not invested in one of these, I highly recommend them. It makes cutting stuff so much quicker. So much quicker. Okay, so now what I need. Oh, let me get on my, I need to get my fabric. Hold on. I need to get okay so this is going to be for B this 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 and this is going to be for C. Okay, this will be in a minute. So I wanted to cut all of these at the same time, but I'm not going to be able to. I'm not be able to cut these. I'm going to try to cut these. Yeah, I'm going to sit here and try to cut these all so I don't have to cut. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do actually let me try to get this side maybe. I want to cut as, le as little as I can off the sides. So I'm going to try to line them up as best I can. And so these sides are all wonky. So they're not um straight so I just get as close to the I can to the side without to make sure I cut all three and then oh I'm gonna cut quite a bit off that side dang it but they give me enough I don't know if I want to you know what oh well I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to cut all that off, but oh well. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. I just want to make sure you never know. Okay, so I've already got two of each here. Well, Dad got it. I'm going to go ahead and just stack them up together. All right, so I got two of each on these. And then I need two of these. Okay. 
Oh, well, I hope I don't want to. I'm probably going to have to. Yep. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Because this is larger and I don't want to fold this piece. I'm actually going to stand up and come around this way. So if you see me funky, that's why. I don't like to cross over because I'm afraid I'm going to cut myself. So, okay, now I have a straight line down here and here to trim. Do you know what? Wait a minute. I shouldn't have done that that side. I should have done this side. So actually, because I forgot, I have got to use this. So this side I know is straight. But I've got to use this for the next block too, so I don't want to mess it up. Okay, I know that side is straight the side isn't but where is it wait a minute what did I just do what did I just do hold on no it's crap okay okay I'm about to lose my mind y'all What did I just do? <sighs> Hopefully I'll be sewing a little bit more. Uh, with. Because we're kind of slowed down on school right now. Since. I was trying to hurry up and get more done, but then I was looking through the curriculum that I changed my daughter to, and um, you can't see it's full, it's down. What's up? Who's that? Oh, I don't know who that is. I'm probably going to fold these in half. You fold these in half. But, um, anyways, I was looking through her curriculum that I had, and I knew she's advanced with a, a Becca. A Becca is just, it's ahead of the game. And she likes a Becca. She does good on a Becca. But, well, what am I doing? Oh, this is what I'm doing. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. I see it now. Good job. Let me scoot this down just a little bit. Anyway, so um, she could actually probably move up to level because she's in level three. She's finishing up, finishing up but. I could probably move her to level five in this new curriculum, but I, I don't do that. But I don't want to do that because I want to make sure that because every curriculum they're along the same um, along the same uh, What am I trying to say? Their scope and sequence, they're along the same, but sometimes there's they teach a little some stuff a little differently, or they may teach something before the other. But anyway, I don't want to miss any holes or have any gaps. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna slow down. We're not gonna stress out. Okay, oh my gosh, I just started cutting these without paying attention to What 
the score sizes whatever thankfully they do the same uh, anyway so um i want to make sure that you know she's not too ahead and doesn't because i told her i said we can like go as fast as you want so she gets through with that with her math book and stuff and even her little language within you know two three months then we'll just move on to level five and that's okay but i told her i said there's no point of going and getting too ahead and then it's just boring to her because i've already bought the supply. i mean i've already bought the books and so i was like we might as well just do them so i told her so what we'll do is you're going to read i don't know why i picked that up i'm gonna um we have a book for her history that she's reading so i was like you'll just read and then i'll um have some copy work i'm going to look at some stuff for like um thanksgiving and some other stuff like that for her and then when it gets to this like after thanksgiving for christmas and I'll have her copy that stuff, like copy like paragraphs and stuff or just sentences and then making sure her spelling, punctuation, um, like all of her um, commas, apostrophe S's, everything like that is correct. And um, I'll probably throw in, I'll probably go through her little math book and throw in some little math problems here and there. But for the most part. Okay, so this is just, this is the cutting for a crisscross block. We have 48 of square A, 8 of square B, and 8 of square C. So that is it. So, but anyways, what I was trying to get at is hopefully y'all see me a little bit more since we are doing that and things are things are kind of slow down because there's really no point of her hurrying up and speeding through when so most it may be a lot of review for her but that's okay because i am changing curriculum and i need to learn how to i need to kind of look at all the books so it gives me a time to kind of learn to teach the new stuff so anyways it sounds like that storm is almost past. I don't know if we got any rain. I didn't hear it. So anyways. Okay. So I'm going to end this video and then I will see you back for the cross and crown block. So this is the crisscross block. This is month seven and these blocks end up being at six and a half inches square. So I hope you're all having a fantastic Saturday or no Friday. <laughs> I'll see y'all soon. Bye y'all.